And the second question is, I mean, this is the one really common question. So can someone explain the difference between this single bracket versus this double bracket? This one versus this one. What is the difference between those? I mean, if you are using shell script, you mu must have used this one. Uh, I'm pretty much sure about it. So anyone know what is the difference between the single bracket versus a double bracket? So in case of a, uh, your shell, there's a default command called test. OK, so if I say test, OK, I think you are trying to say this one, 4 hyphen equal to 4. Under the hood, this this uh, symbol, this bracket, under the hood, it calls this test command. Okay, so if I rather than writing test four hyphen equal to four, it's also going to work. Okay, now this double equal to I will show you what is the significance of these commands, but I'm just showing you. This is an enhanced version of this one, and we are going to see what, what is enhanced between these two. So basically, first thing, let me go back to my board. This stands for test command, OK, which is a shell built-in command. And in case it is going to give you an exit code, okay. And we are going to talk about the exit code in the in the next question. But for the timing, understand if it's come out as a zero, which means it is successful. And any non-zero exit code means failure. That is how Bash is going to interpret it, okay. So if you look at here, let me first start with this one, okay? And then the way uh, it, we are going to find out what is the exit code is using something called your exit code is stored in a special variable called question mark. So if I see it here, it is zero, which means, which I told you, zero means successful, non-zero means failure. Okay, now let's try to represent something which is a failure. So I can use this. I told you test under the hood. It is going to call the test command. So let me try this. And if I try to do four hyphen five, I know this is definitely uh, the wrong thing, right? So if I do echo question mark, it is coming as a non-zero, which is fun. But just remember this, like this guy, this internally going to call a test command and this double is the enhanced version okay and now we are going to talk about what exactly the enhanced version but i think this should be clear that this is useful for test command okay now the why we call it an enhanced version because here you can do a lot of pattern matching and what exactly the pattern matching is so let me show you one example. Okay. Let's look at this script, right? What exactly we are trying to do here, I think, or can anyone tell me what exactly I'm trying to do it over here? I mean, this is- You're I, searching the- you are searching the file, which is uh, which is a read only. Yeah, exactly. So first, I'm using this uh, single bracket. Uh, I started with, I, I have defined this file called file check. Okay. I mean, I have just defined this variable. And in this variable, I have put this file. I'm first checking if this file exists or sorry, if this, if this is a file. Okay. And then ampersand 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 means only if this condition is successful then going to execute this command 
So here I'm checking if this file is readable. OK, and this I'm doing it with the help of a single bracket. So if you see here, OK, I, I will ask you this in the form of a question. Now, same script rather than using this double brackets. OK, can anyone sees a difference between this script, which is using a single bracket versus this script, the double bracket? Are you guys seeing a difference between these two scripts? Yeah, you remove the, uh, like uh, in the previous condition, you mentioned the uh, start bracket and end bracket, and then you mentioned the end operator. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. you mentioned the second condition, but on the second script, you mentioned the continuous on the single, uh, on the double bracket. Yeah, I mean, yes, exactly. So if you see, I mean, the way they are saying it are enhanced, I mean, you can do a lot of complex expression, but I just want to start with something really basic. So if you see here, we have the start bracket and we have this end bracket, and then we have this one condition where we are checking if it's a file. Then we have this Boolean and then we have the start bracket and the end bracket to see if the file is readable. But if you see here, we have just one bracket, not one bracket, I mean, see double bracket, and then we have putting everything over here. Okay. So I can tell you, I mean, based on my experience, there's nothing going to change. It's just if you are trying to write some complex expression, uh, this is preferred. OK, I, I will give you one more example. Just hold on for a second. But let's try to execute this script and we will see like what is the difference. So let me execute this first one, which is having a single bracket. So it says that a file is exist and readable. Let's try to execute the second script. The same output. So nothing is changing in the terms of output, but it's more of a convention. And like I am writing shell script from last 17 years. Earlier, I used to write it using this single bracket, but I am now more getting into the used to habit of writing with a double bracket. So this is a preferred method. It supports a lot of expression. Unless or until you are checking such script, which is written like a long time back, most of the people, they have moved to this double bracket notation. Okay. And this is one of the questions which has been asked. Uh, I got this from class door. Like, what is the difference between this single bracket versus the double bracket? So just, I mean, if you want to explain to the interviewer, you can say that internally it's calling a test command. And this is a more enhanced version where you can do these kind of a pattern matching in a more enhanced way. Okay. I know we haven't spoke about the exit code, that is the next question, but any question related to this, if you took my suggestion, try to create your script using this double bracket. You will not find any issue or error or bug in that. Okay. And while we're talking about the bug, anyone aware of this tool called shell check? This is a simple script, so that's why it's not giving me any suggestion. But we will try to execute this as for the bigger script. So shell check is basically a kind of a linting tool. Uh, I use it heavily. And this will tell me like if there is any syntax error or if I'm some following POSIX standard, which I am not following. So all these things. So for example, in case if you use a single bracket versus a double bracket, I don't know if it's going to tell me, but these are the things which is which has been really helpful to catch it out using the shell check. I can give you guys this. And it is available in EPL repository for Linux. So you can basically download it with the help of shell command. Okay, while this is running. So basically it's a package which you need to download it. Okay. I think it came back. Yeah, not this one, this one. Shall check. 